I think it's at this time the um, the downside risk to growth that we were uh, concerned about uh, during the month of April and May has been substantially reduced. And so if the uh, evidence and the outlook for growth look to be firmer, I think it would give a good reason to begin be thinking of the policy rate normalizations. And the data that are coming out for May and for April is confirming that uh, in the second half of the year, we should be, see, we should be seeing a firm recovery. So I think that would be a good basis for us to be thinking of uh, beginning the process of policy rate normalizations. Uh, some in the market are betting on a move in August. How soon will rates be hiked? Well, it depends on the key data and our assessment of the, both the growth outlook and also the um, inflation outlook. I think the latest number for inflation has clearly indicated that the pressure on prices is, con is, is continuing in Thailand, and it, which is probably something you can expect given that the economy is improving. And so it would be the balance between growth and inflation that we have to look at in deciding our first move. Could inflation accelerate in 2010, especially given that the government has been extending state subsidies to help the people following the political unrest? What are your thoughts on that? I think uh, if the economy is continuing to recover, you would expect you know, inflation to be rising and it would provide the, 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 the basis for the policy interest rate to be looking at uh, things, be, uh, look, looking at, at you know, what the effect of prices would be for the economy going forward. Um, I think the, the subsidies will be helpful to, to try to contain the rise in the cost of living uh, for a certain segment of the population. But for the, uh, for, 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 the big, for the bigger picture, it would be more important to try to make sure that the economy, as it's recover, it doesn't put too much pressure on, on, on prices. And that is the basis of our, of our thinking in terms of monetary policies. Still looking at 3% inflation in 2011? Yes, we are. Deputy Governor, people are back to talking about a double dip. How resilient is the Thai economy if we see a double dip? I think if you look in terms of the downside risk that, that we have uh, now, I think we are quite mindful about these lingering weaknesses in the global eco economy. But so far, the recovery in Thailand has been quite firm on the basis of a strong export performance and also on the basis of an continued supportive government policies. And, you know, it depends on, on how the economy will, how, how the global economy will evolve going forward. But I think if, if, uh, if the, uh, if the world economy uh, were to be sort of a softer, in the, uh, in the second half of the year, I think the effect on Thailand would not be uh, that large because of the diversifications of our export, both into the regional markets and, so, and also to other U.S. markets.